I found a full bee's nest and I got my Tikuskus to come over here at night to grab it because I don't have anything with silk touch on it and he got <laughs> he got arrowed in the butt. But look at him, he's getting me my beehive. Oh my god. We can now make a bee farm. Oh, oh no, no. He set himself on fire. <laughs> Buddy. Let's search for some more. I think this is like a meadow, so... Ah! There should be a lot more. There's a kitty. He found another one. This is sick. We can make a full-on bee farm now. Like, for honeycomb and honey blocks. Or honey bottles. Perfect. Welcome back everybody. It's Julesy's cat and I'm iron 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 the, the, the iron iron uh, oxidizing some <laughs> Some copper. Okay, I'm oxidizing copper and we are going to make a bee farm today because we got some beehives on a little trip out with my Tikuskus. So we need to do a bee farm. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna make a cute little garden and it's gonna be mossy and green and flowery and epic and it's gonna have the rainbow flowers. It's gonna be so Cute. I have picked a very special spot. It is a hole over here in the mountain where it's going to be on the side of the mega base. So it's going to be like a beehive section, sector, section, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be a big beehive vibey thing. And I have a perfect design in mind, but we have to s set up a basic bee farm for now to get the, the bee blocks. So like the honey block and the honeycomb block so that we can actually do the design. So, yes, this is the spot. And whatever I discover, I will keep you updated. So I just placed one moss block and then I'm bone mealing it all over the place so to make it a little garden. This is so easy. Like, you don't even have to do anything. You just bone meal it and it does it on its own. I love it. Looks like a little garden already, but it's a little bit dark in here. So I'm gonna go grab some room lights and some carpets and maybe a little bit more moss because I've only got like six. Actually, I could just... Yeah, I'm probably gonna go farm some moss, you know, and then I'm gonna fill up the, the gaps and, and raise the floor a tiny bit. Oh, there's some copper turning pink. I need to grab it because I don't want it to turn turquoise. I want the pink one. Haha, uh -huh. beautiful. This is actually perfect timing for a bee farm because I'm going to need to put some um, wax on these, like, you know, bee wax to preserve the color, the pink color. And I wanna do that, so yeah, perfect timing. I've run out of bone meal, so I'm just going to take some bone blocks and turn them into bone meal. And then grab some stuffs. Oh, my storage room is so good! I don't spend enough time in here. While I get all the stuff that I need, I just want to thank you all for watching and coming back to my channel every week. Because I know, <laughs> I know it's been rough recently. I haven't been posting every week, but I will get better, I promise. I've just been really burnt out and the hay fever's not helping, man honestly but that doesn't mean i haven't been working on really big videos in the meantime so i've got the big surprise for mighty Goose coming out soon too which was like a whole week ting so <laughs> that's why the beefing is a little bit late but i'm very excited to start building the mega base as well and to post my 100 days that's already basically mostly done there is a lot of really exciting projects i'm working on so I've not just been lazying around doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? There has been some serious grinding. Ooh, I like this block. Too bad it's so expensive to make. Look, it's got like iron plating block. I'm still gonna make it. Ha, that's cool. <gasps> you can make a hedge. A flipping moss hedge. That's so cool. I'm not gonna do that for now though. I need the actual moss blocks. Hmm, I'm probably gonna get more beehives and automate some honey farms too. That'd be fun. Um, I think I have everything now. Yeah, let's get out of here. As you can see, I made tons of colored glass yesterday because I knew I was gonna do this. <laughs> hey, prepared, prepared. Quickly visit my garden chest because I have loads of spare greenery in here, including the rainbow roses, which are beautiful. I'm going to make them basically the main flower in the bee garden. I think that's going to be really cute and like pony vibes, man. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoyed this little path to the bee farm. If I go through here, I might decorate it with the moss on the bottom and then make a little bit of a 
like a Mayan inspired ceiling because that's what the mega base is going to be like so I think that would be really <laughs> cute um, yeah that's the design I'm going for for the mega base if you didn't know um, I did a little planning mega base video back in the day I'll link it at the top if you want to see that because that's that's coming you know I'm working towards that I am getting all the materials ready so that I don't run out halfway through doing like a massive thing because I really want to have enough you know it's gonna be a really important build to me I think this whole season of the SMP I'm gonna focus on that so this is why we are including the beehive farm into the mega base I want to make it walkable because I always run out of food if I don't make stuff walkable. I think the best way right now to make hidden lighting in your garden is to plump some of these light blocks, either shroom lights or some glowstone, and then just cover it with the carpet. And it blends so nice, it looks great. But I think I'm gonna raise up one level actually. Now that you know my little decoration garden secret, we can jump into the time lapse. Now after I finished lighting up the garden, um, I think I just need to place a few more shroomy blocks on the sides because I know the bottom's all done, but I think we could get some spawns in the corners and stuff, so I'd rather be safe, you know? Okay, now that I think I'm done, um, as you can see, I've made loads and loads of yellow and orange glass and that is because I'm going to make a dome to keep the bees enclosed. But that is only temporary because when well, after we make the farm and get enough honey blocks and honeycomb blocks, we're going to remake the actual bee farm design that I have in mind. It's going to be very cool and very unique. So stay tuned for that in the next episode um, or maybe the one after that because I might get a bit tired of manually farming the honey. So I'm going to probably make another episode where we make automatic farms because I usually automate stuff like this that basically is time sensitive and you can just sit there and it will automatically harvest um, and you don't have to always be sitting there being like wait are the bees done yet is it level five yet now nah, I'm not doing that man I'm gonna automate these but at first we're just gonna get started you know get, get a few bees in uh, make a little garden and then leading up to that we will rebuild it a little bit into automated farms and then we can make the actual design of the dome i want to make it very layered and very beehivey it's going to be something else but first let's place some rainbow flowers for the bees oh my god this is such an adorable garden i love it perfect adorable Let's get into the time lapse where I build the glass wall and also grow some trees because it's naked and we need to put the beehives on some trees, of course. I have major doubts about this cave. I don't know if it's going to be good for the bees. Um, I'm scared that they're going to maybe suffocate or something. Maybe be fly through something and just escape altogether. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. And of course, I'm using azalea trees because I'm obsessed right now. They're so cute. They just have a different tone of green to all the other ones. And they match the moss perfectly. And they move in a different way, I feel. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. But I feel like they move differently to all the other leaves. Uh, all right. Time lapse time. I need to put a warning sign up because bees are escape bees. 
Perfect. And so we were chilling, waiting for a 1B to get all of our hives to level 5 so that we can put down the fireplaces and then share the hives. But what happened was our bee eventually escaped, okay? And this is Jules from the future talking to you right now, okay? After editing the video and like trying to get loads of honeycomb and honey blocks for the wall to finish the bee farm to replace the glass with honey blocks for my original design that I had in mind, because obviously I can't do that until I have a farm that works so I can get the blocks needed. But yeah, my bees just kind of kept disappearing and dying or suffocating on the glass. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I'm just telling you my experience, okay? So, we decided to make uh, automated farms underground in a cave next door. And that will be the next episode where we will automate the whole process and then we will complete this nice um, beehive dome thing and it will not be glass anymore because that is temporary okay that was not the idea so i did stick around and share my first set of honey and got all the achievements and stuff so that was nice but yeah we've got a lot of work to do in the next episode it's gonna be very exciting it's my first automated honey and honeycomb farm it's gonna be great guys if you enjoy my little hidden light um garden for the bees even though it was kind of lethal please leave a like on the video because it helps me a lot and it puts a smile on me face and i know i just lit it up with shroom lights but that's just because i think they look really honey bee-ish kind of blocky you know like it, it it's it fits the vibe i like it i like it i'm gonna leave it overall i am very happy with how the garden turned out i am very pooped out that the bees keep disappearing uh, i might have a hole up there somewhere that i don't even know about what if that's the case that's crazy okay no let's not think like that let's just make the automated farm in the next episode and then we'll be gucci so that is it for today my garden is complete and i just wanted to mention that youtube tells me that only 20 percent of you have subscribed so if you do enjoy my videos please subscribe and if you're wondering why that's not centered is because there is a very important door right there and it's an indicator of what's in the next episode if you want to see my automated bee farms behind that door click on the link on the screen right now this was Julesy's cats and i'll see you in the next one